Thank you very much, everybody. It's a great honor to have the Crown Prince with us. Uh, Saudi Arabia has been uh, a very great friend and a big purchaser of equipment and lots of other things. And one of the biggest investments in the United States is their uh, — I guess it's your big investment — is buying stock in companies and various other things in the United States and creating jobs. Uh, we've become very good friends over a fairly short period of time. Uh, I was in Saudi Arabia in May, and we are bringing back hundreds of billions of dollars into the United States, and we understand that. And they understand that some of the things that have been approved and are currently under construction and will be delivered to Saudi Arabia very soon, and that's for their protection. But if you look in terms of dollars, $3 billion, $533 million, $525 million. That's peanuts for you. Should have increased it. $880 million, $645 million, $6 billion. That's uh, for frigates. Uh, $889 million, $63 million. And that's uh, for various artillery. Some of the things that we're now working on — thanks and that have been ordered and will uh, shortly be started in construction and delivered. THAAD system, $13 billion. The C-130 uh, uh, airplanes, the Hercules, great plane, $3.8 billion. The Bradley vehicles, that's the tanks, $1.2 billion. And the uh, P-8 Poseidons, $1.4 billion dollars. And what it does is it really means uh, many, many jobs. We're talking about over 40,000 jobs in the United States. So we make the best equipment in the world. There's nobody even close. And Saudi Arabia is buying a lot of this equipment, and a lot of people are at work making the equipment, not only for us, because we, as you know, we, we're getting a $700 billion military proposal. And that's even a lot for you guys. But we're getting a $700 billion military plan this year, and $716 uh, will be next year, $716 billion. So we're uh, — we really have a great friendship, a great relationship. I would really have to say the relationship was, to put it mildly, very, very strained during the Obama administration. And uh, the relationship now is probably as good as it's really ever been. And I think we'll probably only get better uh, tremendous investments made uh, in our country, and that means jobs for our workers, jobs for our people. Also, defense. We're talking about defense, and we're working very hard with Saudi Arabia, and they're also footing a big part of the bill for defense. The whole Middle East, we know what's happened in the Middle East, and it has not been a pretty picture for the United States or for anybody. And a lot of things are changing, and they're changing very rapidly. As you know, ISIS is now — we've recaptured almost 100 percent of the territory, as you probably have heard before anybody. But we've captured uh, close to 100 percent of the territory held by ISIS. And we've moved very rapidly, very quickly. And that's really coming to an end in that part of the world. It's coming to an end. And we'll be able to get out of certain areas that we've wanted to get out of for a long period of time. And other countries can handle it. At this point, they'll be able to handle it. So it's a great honor to have you and your representatives here. Crown Prince, thank you very much. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Mr. Thank President. You. Actually, the relation between Saudi Arabia and the rest of America, it's an old relation. We are the oldest ally of the rest of America and the Middle East. Right. Uh, more than 80 years uh, of alignments and big interest, politically, economically, and security uh, in different uh, areas, a lot of area. And the foundation of the relation, it's really huge and really deep in uh, different issue. We know that today, the relation, it's the cause of more, uh, more than 4 million jobs in the US of America, directly and non-directly. Also, it's a cause for a lot of jobs in Saudi Arabia, directly and non-directly. And uh, as you know, Mr. President, from day one, you, you've uh, 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 reach this office. Uh, we've planned to uh, uh, create uh, to tackle 200 billion U.S. dollar of opportunity right. in the next four years, but it end up with 400 billion U.S. dollar of opportunities. 
You've talked to the Mr. President about the military deals. The implementation in it is more than 30 percent, and also the implementation overall in the 400 billion US dollar of opportunity more than 35 percent. Right. We plan this for the next 10 years, but it happens in one year we implement 35 percent. So, so this is a signal that there is a lot of things could be tackled in the uh, close uh, future and more opportunities, and that's why we are here today to be sure that we've tackle all the opportunities and achieve it, and also get rid of all the threats facing our both countries and the whole, the whole world. So I'm very glad to be here today. Well, that's right. And, you know, one thing that you have been really focused on is the terrorism threat and the funding of terrorism. And whether it's Saudi Arabia or other countries, as we know, uh, there will be no funding. It is — we have a zero tolerance for the funding of terrorists. And uh, we're working very hard. And I will say that Saudi Arabia has been work, working very hard on that, as are certain other countries in the Middle East. When I was there in May, I think it was one of the most incredible two-day meetings that I've ever seen, that anybody's ever seen. It was an amazing two-day period. We had 56 countries. We had — everybody was there at the head of every country. Virtually, I guess, in every case, it was the head of the country. And we talked about terrorism and the funding of terrorism, and it will not be allowed. It will not be allowed. That would be the one thing that would end the relationship with any country. So uh, I think there's a very big focus on that, the funding of terrorism, meaning it's over. And the other thing that I really am very uh, happy about is that uh, we talked about $400 billion worth of investment, of which we've already invested and seen invested $200 billion to our companies, to various other th places and people that make things. So a lot of places throughout the United States are benefiting by this massive investment made by Saudi Arabia to buy product from the United States. And again, we make the best military product in the world, whether it's missiles or planes or anything else, there's nobody that even comes close. So I just want to thank you, and I want to congratulate you on everything. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much, everybody. Terrible. The bombings in Austin are terrible. Uh, local, state, and federal are working hand in hand to get to the bottom of it. Uh, this is obviously a very, very sick individual, or maybe individuals. These are sick people, and we will get to the bottom of it. We will be very strong. We have all sorts of federal agencies over there right now. We're searching uh, what's going on in Austin, a great place, a tremendous place is absolutely uh, disgraceful. So we have uh, a lot of power over there. We're looking. It's not easy to find. But these are sick people, and we have to find them as soon as possible. We have to find them, really, immediately. I will say, working with Texas, working with the local governments uh, has been great. But we have to produce — we have to find this very sick person or people. Thank you all very much. Thank you. I had a uh, call with President Putin and congratulated him on the victory, his electoral victory. The uh, call had to do also with the fact that we will uh, probably get together in the not-too-distant future so that we can discuss uh, arms, we can discuss the arms race. As you know, he made a statement that being in an arms race is not a great thing. That was right after the election, one of the first statements he made. And we are spending $700 billion this year in our military, and a lot of it is that we are going to remain stronger than any other nation in the world by far. We had a very good call, and I suspect that we'll probably be meeting in the not-too-distant future to discuss uh, the arms race, which is getting out of control. But we will never allow anybody to have anything even close to what we have. And also to discuss Ukraine, and Syria, and North Korea, and various other things. So I think probably we'll be uh, seeing President Putin in the not-too-distant future. Well, we're going to see what happens. The Iran deal is coming up. Uh, it's uh, probably another month or so, and you're going to see what I do. But Iran has not been treating that part of the world or the world itself appropriately. A lot of bad things are happening in Iran. Uh, the deal is coming up in one month, and you will see what happens. Okay? Your Royal Highness, should the President pull out of the Iran deal? 
Well, uh, we'll talk about that today. <laughs> okay, thank you very All much, right, everybody. everybody. Let's make your way out, please. Let's thank go. you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Good to see you. Keep moving.